Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, much love to you. And to my returning subs, my extended growing family, thank you so much for the love and support, the kind vibes, the loving vibes. It's just you're sitting me and returning as I send them to you and you're placing amongst your brothers and sisters and which is such a beautiful blessing. So with that being said, thank you. Much love to all. Namaste. Love and, love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely going to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell button over there so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the content of my video and you want to give positive feedback. Or if you're just telling me about your empathic gift that has been placed upon you. Or if the video just gives you good spirits, good vibes or just gives you clarity and you really enjoyed it, spread the love, thumbs up, like, and even share. And it's all greatly appreciated. And I hope you enjoy and get something out of this video today. And thank you for stopping by my channel. And this beautiful enchanting music I am listening to today is called Indian Flute Music, uh, Deeply Relaxing Yoga Music, Positive Energy, Meditation Music, Peace of Mind. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101, Wiccans doing candle magic, cleansing home and aura, and dance chanting. I know people like dance chanting. Because <laughs> it was like, I've been doing, like, I do uh, these different spells, you know, like I said, it, this is a really fairly new thing for me. But when I find out new and interesting things that might help out a lot of others that, you know, are just starting, um, starting to do, you know, uh, paganism or witchcraft or anything, you know, usually when people hear that, they think of something negative, but it really isn't. It just depends on what you're pushing out and what your intentions are. So it's just like with me, all of mine is like love and light and positivity. So, you know, it kind of shies people away, but these are really helpful things that I found out on the internet and stuff like that, that I've been doing because, you know, a lot of us, you know, we use candles, uh, candle magic and it's, um, it's just a lot of different things that people do candle magic for. They could be spells for love to attract love, uh, to banish negative energy and any kind of negative frequency frequency away or just bringing you know joy to your life bringing good luck to your life and that's what I did mine for you know um I started uh, it just depends on what color candles you get um I wrote down the color candles that you know you might be interested in in different different colors that they stand for they even have some for allergies and um health purposes so i know a lot of people are probably you know dealing with allergies and stuff like that and maybe with you being in uh if you're you know like me you're you're all you got all these magical <laughs> hats you know you might end up dealing with you know insomnia and stuff like that so <clears throat> i wrote down a few of the different color um different color candles and what they're used for and then I'm going to tell you about the ones about the allergies as well so it's just like when you get the green green ones uh, what did they say they're for green candles are for money uh, fertility luck abundance health do not use if anybody um, is dealing with any kind of cancer situation they always say do not burn those green candles I don't know what they have specifically for people that are diagnosed with cancer or anything but these are specifically are not supposed to be used even though you might want this it's a no-no <laughs> okay um, the white candle I have that one the white candle is for destruction of negative energy peace and truth and purity and the red one is for passion, lust, sex, um, relationships, vitality, and courage, which I ask also got. But with the candle magic, you can write pretty much anything that you want to be manifested into your life on the side of the candle. You make sure, before you light the candle, you always say a positive prayer. Make sure you have a clear mind 
and any kind of good intentions going through your head at the time. Any kind of negative things, negative aura is really not good. So when you make sure you, you light the candle, before you light the candle, make sure you, you uh, pray over it. Make sure you're, because when you light candles like that without saying a prayer, you're like inviting different spirits in and you don't know what you're inviting in when you light like candles so it's kind of like a gateway in between you know both worlds both, both spirit worlds so and then you write these things down that you truly want into your life but they say uh to make it really work they say uh the candle candle magic pra practitioners often recommend writing names dates and birth dates and certain symbols on the candle or it's enclosed in a jar like if you can remove the candle or whatever out of the out of the glass jar um, and it affirms one's intentions. Additionally, you must be the the candle must be anointed with oil. Simple olive oil can help, um, or specific essential oils to dress the candle with. But they have um, they have rose pink, rose pink, positive love, friendship, harmony, and joy. If you want a yellow candle. Realizing and manifesting thoughts, confidence, bring, bring plans to action, creativity, intelligence, mental clarity, and clairvoyance. Orange candles, joy, education, strength, attraction, stimulation. Uh, black candles, which I need to also get to. Protection of absorption, absorption, destruction of negative energy, also repelling negative energy from others. I didn't know you can do that. And um, silver goddess, uh, silver candles are for goddess or f feminine energy. Remove negative energy, psychic development, and gold candles are for male energy, solar energy, fortune, and uh, spiritual attainment. And then they have the purple candles for spiritual awareness, wisdom, and tranquility. V lavender. Uh, intuition lavender candles are inf intuition paranormal peace and healing blue candles are deep blue candles meditation for healing forgiveness inspiration and vitality happiness opening lines of communication and they have the candles for which why I found really interesting they have candles that are for allergies the violet ones if you have really bad allergies they said you can get those for anxiety use the rose for coals, green or violet, depression, orange, indigo, or rose. Insomnia, which a lot of people, I know that probably would be interested in that one, is blue. Indigestion is yellow. Fever is blue. Headaches are green and blue. And diabetes is also yellow. So, I mean, I find out all these good things about, you know, um... You know, doing the magic chanting or whatever because it actually really worked for me because when I started doing the ones with the bay leaves, I told you guys about well, you love bugs about this a few weeks ago. When you're pressing out good intentions, it's just like you're doing with candle magic with actually doing bay leaves because it's really good because it's cleansing your house, which is what I'm getting into now. Cleansing your aura, your aura in your house. It's always good to use like rub sage or if you can get the stock bay leaves you know you can find that at your local dollar store and you know grocery store and stuff like that you know open all your doors make sure you're able to you know start from the back work to the front but you know because it's just like when you're in the workplace and you deal with a lot of people even though you might not be a negative person you're always bringing home energy and it can be a lot of people's different energy, you know, just to cleanse your aura. We have to try to do that each and every day. And sometimes it's hard to do if you're, you know, you're a busy parent or you have a job or you're going to school. You know, you have a lot of things on your belt. But it's always good to at least try to do, you know, fit that in at least about 10, 15 minutes out of the day. So um, when you do that, you know, you can use uh, sea salt and vinegar and water. You can place that in a cup in different parts of corners of your house. Use uh, sea salt out the front of your door if you have people that wish you harm or any kind of evil doing towards you. You can always put that at your front door and say a blessing on that after you sweep all the bad intentions and the bad aura out of your house. You know, you say your prayers telling me, you know, whatever is bad in your house or any kind of negative energy. You know, you just want it to go to its rightful place. And so basically, you're going to each and every room, blessing it and including closets, you know, 
just sweep it out the front door and then go ahead and put that sea salt right on the front of it because a lot of times we have unnegative energy i mean not unnegative but negative energy that's around our house around people there are sometimes they're attached to people you know i've seen certain people that you know their faces has changed you know i was just like whoa you know it looked like something off the devil's advocate with uh al pacino in it with the when the people's faces all the lawyers and stuff like that when you start really seeing their true faces so um that's a really good thing to go ahead and cleanse your house and your aura you know even with your personal aura you know if you're not allergic to uh lavender you can always put lavender you know i always use lavender sea salt that you can get from your dollar store for like two or three dollars you know and i rub it all on my body and let it sit there for a few minutes you know if you're skin sensitive i wouldn't suggest that but um, even in your bath, you know, you can put that in there and put lemon juice in there. And that cleanses your body. Um, it takes a lot of toxins out as well, especially when you're using lemons. So hopefully that'll help people. And then for the last one, dance chanting. is anytime you, you want to bring love into your life or you want to bring any kind of joy or good intentions in your life, you always have to make sure anytime you're doing these with the candles, the chanting, and stuff like that you always have to make sure you have a clear mind on good intentions on doing best for you if you have any kind of anger or hidden ill will and stuff like that it's not a good idea to go ahead and place any kind of spells when you do that um especially when it comes to love i i don't believe in doing love spells i feel like that's with nature if it happens naturally let it happen naturally i don't you know some people do love spells and stuff like that it's just like if you ever watch the movie the craft I'm not trying to see if that, <laughs> when old girl wanted that guy, I think he, she wanted to get back at him because he lied and told everybody he had sex with her when he knew he didn't. So she put a love spell on him. And then next thing you know, the guy got psychotic, you know, knocking on her door, you know, throwing rocks at her, you know, her window at two, three o'clock in the morning. I really don't think you want that because you might wish for something and to be, be careful what you wish for. But dance chanting, um, I found this out recently. Um where basically it's just like when you're in your higher vibes and you know a lot of people listen to music to unwind relax and you want better things for your life you want good things for your life always think about the things that you want to manifest in your life and when you're dancing it i mean your vibes are really high like you're just really feeling the music and it's like you're rain dancing you're asking you know the the universe the nature you know mother nature of all elements to bring these blessings into your life so it's just like we want love to your life you know not the actual person but you just want to bring you know healthy love to your life a, a, a better relationship to your life you want to be successful and all these things when you're doing it you say it out loud and you have a big smile on your face and you have all this energy in your heart to the point where your it feels like your heart chakra is open so you might feel a different shift when you're doing this kind of like rain dancing because when i did it earlier it started raining and all of all of a sudden i just started feeling weird but since i did the candle uh candle magic my subscribers is getting <laughs> through the roof you know i mean it's not big right now but hey it's a it's a lot better than what it was you know i was getting subscribers you know like once every two or three weeks maybe not even that much well actually more than that you know it'd be like five or six subscribers in the last two or three weeks but now it seems like i have two or three subscribers or four or five subscribers every day or every other day so it's bringing better things into my life i feel things manifesting for me you know um wishing negativity away from my life so it's just like the people that i really don't get along with there I really don't really see them don't have to communicate with them so it's a blessing so when you're really putting out good intentions and you really truly believe these things will come into your life they can actually happen so I'm hoping that you were able to get something out of this this uh, content of my video please drop me a line and let me know what you think about it or if you have any questions just let me know I'll answer them the best way I know how because like I said I'm just learning about all these things and I have it, have it written down and you know and it's just a blessing when you can find out other things and there might be Wiccans out there or people that actually practice witchcraft on good intentions they might want these things for themselves so you know there they go so like and subscribe even hit the notification bell drop me a line i love the chance to hear from you share this video spread the love give me a thumbs up it's all greatly appreciated know that you are loved blessed and highly favored and 
there is somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as possible. And I'll see you later. Much love. Namaste. Peace. And be